In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the flight modes of the core radio. I'm going to start out with a basic overview of the menus and how the flight modes are applied to the various functions. And then I'll get into some simple examples and uh, just demonstrate how the control flow of the flight modes applies. I'm going to start out by going to the flight mode menu by pulling down in the major menus. And then in the right hand side, you'll see flight modes. This brings you to the flight mode setup screen, which is a graphic representation we call the tree. It's over here on the right, you can see where it branches out. This always goes from left to right, with left taking the highest priority. As you move to the right, you can actually create flight modes within flight modes. Where you see the names on the side and on the bottom is where you can assign the names to the various flight modes. Where you see these blank boxes is where you can assign the switches. The way the functions apply to the flight modes, we'll go into the functions menu. And either in the trim or setup menu, you will have the flight mode option. Select either global or single. Global applies to all modes of flight and does not change with the differing flight modes. Single applies to the individual modes of flight and changes with the flight mode selection. To set up a single flight mode, you'll just put the switch you have chosen in the position, the flight mode you wish to change. And you can change any of these parameters and it will only be in the selected flight mode. We'll go back into the flight mode menu. I'll show you how to set up a switch. Set up a switch, we start out by tapping the blank box, select input, and move the switch you wish to use. You can also assign a virtual switch or a fixed on off value. The next screen is the encoder where you can select what position of the switch activates this flight mode. I'll leave this standard as on. And now I'm going to do this as a flaps to elevator trim flight mode. So I'm going to change the name of this just to normal. This will be normal flaps up flying. Tap OK. Then you will see the fade in and no fade in functions over here on the right. The fade in is a delay that gradually applies the flight mode changes. So if you have elevator added to your flaps, it will gradually fade in that trim change. The no fade in functions lists all the functions you've created. You can select any of these which you do not want the fade in time to apply to. Tap OK and it'll go back to the main menu. You can see flight mode normal shows in the center of the screen. To assign the second switch, I'm just going to go to the next one to the right. Again, tap input, move the switch I wish to use. Then in the encoder, I want the center position to be on for takeoff flap. Then I will rename this as takeoff. Tap OK. We'll go out and we'll move to the third one and assign a switch there as well. The same switch and in the third position. So now with my flaps, I'll go ahead and rename this land. With my flap switch, you can see the flight mode change land, takeoff, and normal. The way you will apply the elevator trim change. So we'll go back to the functions menu and then select the trim of the elevator function where it says flight mode we'll change this to single and then as I'm in normal mode we'll have standard trim this will be your in-flight trim then we'll go to take off and we'll trim the flaps as needed and we'll go to landing again we'll trim the flaps as needed so you can see the trim change with the flight mode. And if I go to the servo monitor, you'll see the elevator and flap change. So that's just a basic example that applies to just about 
any airplane, any type of airplane out there that can have flaps.